Welcome to Inside Auto Podcast, where we feature everyone and anyone you'd want to talk to in and out of the automotive industry. Ilana Shopta here, Inside Auto Podcast. We're here with John Woodman from Service AI. Auto Service AI. Auto Service AI. That's new. Yes, it is. Uh, Just moved from Cutter good. Auto. Was there for 11 there years. 11 years. Wow. How's the switch been? Um, so far, still still adjusting, but uh, really enjoying it. Yeah? Yeah. That's great. And so you just moved from Hawaii to Dallas. I did. You went from retail to vendor. I did. And how's it been being on the other side? Um, you know, I, I, I think I'm in a position now, kind of like my personal goal is to help dealers. And I think this way I can, just, I can help more dealers than just one. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. And how's the show been for you? Uh, it's been pretty good. I mean, NADA is always a big, big event and exciting. A lot of things going on. But yeah, it's a good show. Do you feel like there's an emphasis on, you know, there's always like the three things that the show really focuses, like everyone is talking about when it comes to shows, right? It's always different every year. Do you feel like there's a heavy emphasis on service this year? Um, whether or not the show is focused on service, I know me personally, I've been focused on service for a little yeah, while now. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, I think it is one of the most important things a dealership really needs to get a handle on and gets fixed and tightened up. But, I mean, it is like the, the most profitable center for the, for the dealer. It so. is the most profitable center, and it's also one of the easiest ways to have, you know, some leaks in your marketing and yeah. some other areas that can, can really hurt a dealership. And I, I think... Yeah, service is definitely something that needs to be tightened up and can make a dealership a lot more profitable with, you know, the crazy economy we've been in and moving forward. Yeah, and I think there's also a nice emphasis in automotive for creating customers for life. I think the lifetime value of a customer in automotive is so important. Service really helps with that, right? Instead of waiting three years to see your clients come back because their lease is up, you get to bring them back with service throughout those three years and figure out how, how you can keep that that communication and that relationship really strong with your, you know, your clients over time. Right. Um, and not even just three years. I mean, there, there's a lot of people now talking similar to what we saw back in 08, 09. Customers are wanting to keep their cars even longer. Right. Which makes service department even that much more important. Yeah. And then do you feel like dealers are preparing for what service will look like with EV? Um, I, I think with the rest of automotive, you're always going to have you know, 10% that are like way super forward, you're going to have, you know, another maybe 20% that are at least looking there, but not really making any set plans yet. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of other places that are still just what's going on. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of that. I think like the 10% is going to be really important because they're going to set the stage for the rest of the dealers. Right. I mean, what, what we typically see with like the Jeff Weiler Auto Group, Kevin yeah. Fry over there, they're always like cutting edge, yeah. trying out the next new innovation and really trying to set the pace for a lot of dealerships. And they're, they're a good group to look at and exemplify. Yeah. Yeah. We love Kevin. He was on this podcast as well, actually. Um, so tell us a little bit about Service AI, Auto, auto Service AI. So Auto Service AI, um, I mean, just to keep it simply, to me, it's... It's a small little product that is going to modernize any dealership almost immediately, um, but solving one of the oldest problems, and that's answering uh, the service phone when it rings. We can uh, immediately answer that call and schedule a service appointment for the dealership right then and there. Now, is that because you're integrated into the service appointment, uh, like X time? Correct. We, we actually, and not just X time. So what really sets auto service apart is we integrate with all the schedulers out there not just one or two. Oh, every single one? Every single one. And and so when, when... We even had one store that like they were doing their scheduler with a Google calendar. And yeah, well, that's probably the easiest one to integrate <laughs> with. But when you, when you do that, mm -hmm. okay, so let's say I'm someone, I'm calling the dealership, I want to get an oil change. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get an answering machine or a AI automated mm -hmm. service. Right. I'm going to put in the date and time I want. It's going to tell me it's available. It's not available based on what it's seeing in, in whatever service scheduler that dealership uses. Mm -hmm. And then is there, do I get a confirmation? Is there a follow-up? What happens then? How does it get pushed into their service scheduler? So it, we basically will look at the next available appointments, give you an option of three appointments that are upcoming. Okay. If you want to change the day from that, we could accommodate whatever That's day That's part of the script or whatever it may be. Yep, okay. part of the script. 
And then once the appointment's set, you immediately get a text confirmation right into your phone. Okay, and then it's in the CRM or it, in it, the- It's already in the scheduler, which oh, will then cool. push to the DMS at the service department. That's awesome. Um, how many, like, do you see, how do you assess success? Is it, look at how many, look at the jump from service appointments, Look at how many phone calls were answered right. pre and post. <clears throat> Primarily, I mean, our, our, our big success metric is how many additional service appointments we are able to set for a store. Um, we turned it on in one store and they saw, you know, six additional service appointments every Sunday. Wow. Right. Um, we, we've got other stores. We're setting over 300 appointments a month. Wow. That's incredible. In addition, above, beyond their own people answering the phone. That's awesome. So what's, what's on the roadmap for 23 for you guys? Um, we're getting ready to launch another product um, that can actually, so if a customer were to come into service and say they needed parts, went home with their car, um, but now we need to get them back in because the parts just arrived, they can actually drop their phone number into our system, we'll outbound and then schedule that appointment to get the customer back in and get the parts off the, uh, the books of the dealership. That's awesome. When's that going to go live? Um, that should be actually here within the next uh, month or so. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us today, Inside Auto Podcast. We learned a lot. I appreciate it. And good luck in the new role. All righty. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for listening to Inside Auto Podcast. Check out our other episodes with top entrepreneurs and industry leaders.